The popular saying is that breakfast is the most important meal of the day. But for the estimated 15% of Nevadans who are food insecure, they don't always know where breakfast or even their next meal is going to come from. In fact, according to a recent UNLV study, food insecurity causes a whopping 81 million missed meals around Nevada a year. If breakfast is indeed the most important meal of the day, then nowhere are those meals more missed than in the classrooms around the state. That's why the Nevada legislature passed State Bill 503, which mandated that any school who meets a threshold for 70% free and reduced lunch would also qualify for the state's Breakfast After the Bell program. Breakfast After the Bell is more than just a program to get food into bellies. It's a specially balanced meal that not only meets USDA guidelines for optimum nutrition, but is specially formulated to make sure students are attentive in class and are ready to learn. The meals vary depending on the school they're being served in. After the school day starts, some schools will serve a hot breakfast while some schools will serve a cold breakfast that is delivered directly to the classroom. The hot meals are eaten in the cafeteria, while the cold breakfasts are eaten in the room during normal administrative times, such as taking attendance, ensuring the program has a minimum effect on instructional time. While serving breakfast after the bell may seem like a very non-traditional thing to do, the program has undeniably improved school performance. Studies have shown breakfast at school programs increase scores on standardized math tests by almost 20%, kids are in attendance more days of the year, and they also show fewer discipline problems. In addition to the impacts in the classroom, it's also improving life outside of it as well. Breakfast After the Bell is helping to close the food insecurity gap in Nevada. In just one school district in the state, the program is responsible for almost 1.6 million meals served a month, and that number is growing. That same school district has seen participation in the program more than double, from 76 schools in the 2015-16 school year to 175 in the 2016-17 school year. Some of the students that feel like they don't want to eat breakfast, all of a sudden you see them grabbing a few things to take with them for breakfast. Uh, it's helped with the discipline situation as well because sometimes when you have hungry students, uh, they would come in hungry and we only had free and reduced before that, so you either qualified for one or the other. They can come in, get a meal, and a lot of times it starts off the day a lot better. Any way you slice it, the program is not just closing the food insecurity gap and raising school performance across the board throughout the state, but is quickly becoming one of the foundational building blocks for a stronger future for Nevada.